fun. Are you guys ready to have some fun? take any volunteer, you need a volunteer that's sitting in their seat, being real quiet, listening very carefully. Raise your hand, this guy right there, yes sir. At Eric Energy, we're all about making learning fun. We're engaging kids without a screen. We are taking their creativity, taking their wonderment, and we're creating an interactive situation where there are things like air and matter and light, and all of a sudden we're turning them into stuff that they want to find out more about, that they want to learn about. And that's what the Eric Energy is all about, making learning fun, getting kids excited about learning. They were very excited to hear all the things that he had to teach them and for opportunities to participate. He did a great job involving all the children, also did a great job controlling the crowd and getting them to calm down and take turns and be patient. His um, act is very interactive, so almost everything that he did, the children had the opportunity to touch or feel or see or smell or whatever they might want to do. It was a great show. It's like he had experience with kids. He knew how to go through the crowd and get them excited, but keep them together at the same time. Um, I think it was really cool how they just kind of, when it was time for the experiment to start, they kind of just knew to be quiet, you know, kind of thing. And I think the, diff the transition between the different um, experiences, like the vortexes, and the um, dry ice were real smooth and he related it all to the elements and that made it relative to the students. What I really like the most about it is that the students got to have hands-on experience. They got to fill the air, they get to hold the bubbles, they get to look at it and um, that's something that makes it real to them and hopefully they'll, you know, remember it forever and I love Eric Energy. <laughs> and it was just really epic to see it in person. Mr. Eric Energy, he was blowing bubbles with smoke and we had to jump to get them and that was very fun. The, the rings of air, it was cool and I really did like the jumping for the bubbles and the smoke rings. Uh, I also liked when at the end he came around with the, uh, with the whole tub full of dry ice. That was really fun. I've been to the Eric Energy show for at least 10 years and he always keeps us coming back and keeps the crowd happy and engaged. And I really liked the integration of music with science as well as um, the safety components mixed in with kind of everyday knowledge. Everyone had an opportunity to feel um, inspired as well as connected. Being able to be up and active and hands-on really I think encapsulates the whole program. He brought science to life by having the children be able to touch and manipulate. I really liked how he would ask um, engaging questions and asking him at what temperature does water freeze, why can't you touch dry ice, you know those safety components and they're so important so for me as someone who is a teacher it's really essential that we able to tie the standards into what children are learning. You have to go see the show. You have to take your children um, because it will allow them to see science come to life and an experience they will never forget. www.ericenergy.com. You can also find me on YouTube, Eric Energy. You can also find a whole bunch of science experiments you can do at home, ericenergy.com. <laughs>